All right, so today I wanted to show you how to uh, upgrade the storage for sentry mode and dash cam in your Model 3 or Model Y. Uh, so we'll just start with uh, my car here. Uh, it is a 2021 Model Y, which I'm sure you know from all the titles of my last videos. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna go into the car and car will turn on <laughs> hopefully okay so this is a 2021 so it has uh the uh usb port in the glove box which i'll show you here okay let's move that out of the way so there is the usb drive okay so tesla uh just started doing this with the new model threes and model y's and uh, they include a, a 64 gigabyte drive. Now that's fine. Uh, I think that's enough storage for, um, don't quote me on this, but I think it's about uh, a week's worth of storage. Um, that's pretty good. Um, however, I, I feel like if something happens in Sentry or dash cam, mostly Sentry, I don't tend to check it right away until I see some sort of damage. Um, so, uh, for example, if someone dings my car door, um, I'll get a little sentry alert here, but I almost never check it right away because it's usually just a false positive. So it's someone just walking by the car. So I'm not going to get into my car every time there's a sentry report and see exactly what it is. Uh, so, for example, if I come up to my car one day and I notice a ding on the door, it could be from two weeks ago. Uh, and then obviously the footage is now gone. So, um, it's good to upgrade your drive to something a little bit bigger. Now, what I've got here, this is a remnant from my Model 3, so I'm transferring it to my Model Y, is a Samsung T5. So this one's <laughs> this one's overkill. It's a, a one terabyte drive, uh, which is quite a bit. Um, I don't know the calculation on how long it'll last, but uh, my Model 3, I think I was seeing footage for like two months or something like that, so something ridiculous. Now, this is way too big. Um, you can get the 500 gig and that's and that's kind of a sweet spot even a 256 or 500 gig those are great uh this was on sale so i bought this one instead um now the other benefits to using a portable ssd this is made for constant uh writes reads and rewrites whereas a usb drive even tesla put their own in here uh that's a samsung branded one as well that they use um the usb drives uh, tend to wear out a little bit faster with uh, constant writes and rewrites. They're not really designed for that. They're more designed for, um, you know, like putting some files or a couple movies or music onto it once in a while and then reading it off the drive. Sentry mode and dash cam are constantly writing and over overwriting uh, video footage. Uh, just constantly. So it's constantly writing to it, writing to it, writing to it. And uh, solid state storage that uh, USB drive is, um, the more writes you have on it, it starts to degrade and it starts to break down. So there's been reports of cheaper and smaller USB drives uh, wearing out faster. So this uh, being a large, large capacity, it's not gonna be rewriting footage for a long time. So to fill up that two months of storage and then it starts to start over from the, the beginning, it starts to rewrite. So this will last a lot, lot longer as well. Um, so yeah, to get on to the point, uh, we're gonna swap this out. So super simple. Uh, basically, if you already have a drive installed, uh, just skip this step. But basically, I'm gonna yank this out. <sighs> okay, so that is the Tesla 64 gig drive that they included. It's interesting that it says USB 3.1 because I know uh, the ports here are only 2.0 ports. Uh, but that's kind of nice. So if you have a USB 3.0 computer, you can read that really quickly. So I'm going to take the new drive. I'm just going to pop it in here. All right. Not too important where it goes. It's fine. So I'm just going to plug this in. Okay. And you should get, if it's a T5, a little blue light Oops, right there on the edge. Okay. So we're just going to put that back in. I'm gonna put my uh, manuals and ownership and all that stuff back in. Okay, so to activate it, you're gonna go to safety and security. 
scroll down. So first of all, you'll notice that sentry mode uh, is, there should be a little red, excuse me, red dot right there to, act, uh, to show that it's activated. It's not on right now uh, because obviously there's no drive. So uh, sentry mode will work uh, if there is no USB drive included, but you can't review any footage. Uh, it basically is just a, an alarm system. And I think it records a couple little events to its onboard memory, but I don't think you can even see them. That's only for Tesla. So uh, when you put your drive in, you're just gonna click format USB drive, format, that's it. And it's formatted. So you'll see at the top here, uh, oops, sorry for the blur. Uh, now we have a little dash cam icon and uh, the sentry icon, if I tap it, uh, it turns it on. Uh, right now you can see I just have sentry mode excluded from home. Uh, also a, a note on that, sentry mode, it's great, I, I love to keep it on, but if you keep it on, um, especially at home, it does tend to drain a lot more power from, I, I shouldn't say a lot, but it, it draws more power and it keeps the car on constantly. Uh, so if your car's sitting at home for whatever, 16 hours <laughs> overnight, even though you're plugged in and stuff, the car is still on uh, and it's drawing power. So you're constantly topping the battery back up, back up, back up. Uh, and I have it on at work uh, just cause I work in a parking lot that has a lot of cars coming and going but uh, you do notice some, some vampire drain when you have sentry mode on. Uh, if I'm there at my office for eight hours, I'll come out and lose a couple of percent. Um, so it's, it's not insignificant, uh, but it, it's enough for you to notice. So just a heads up. Uh, so I tend to keep sentry mode off when I don't need it. I also have a, I don't know if you can see it in the corner there, a little uh, UFI security cam that looks at my car from the shed. Uh, and I got them all around the house as well, so I don't really need sentry mode on. Uh, yeah, so that's basically all you need to do uh, to get your new drive working. Uh, that's a USB-A port that's in the glove box uh, on the 2021s. Uh, you can't really see it, there's too much garbage in there, but uh, there's a USB-C on this side and a USB-A on this side underneath this wireless charger. The USB-C is in use for the wireless pad. Uh, and there's a free USB-A port down there. Um, and lastly, to review your footage, so you can just kind of click the dash cam icon, launch the viewer. And since I just plugged this in uh, and formatted it, there's obviously no footage, but uh, you can actually see this is uh, recent. So you can actually click the different cameras and see all the different angles, which is really cool. Uh, and then if you click up here, you can have all the footage, just Sentry. So if, obviously I can't click it right now. Uh, if Sentry records anything, it'll go into its own little folder for Sentry mode. And then dash cam, uh, if you click dash cam while you're driving to uh, save a clip, or if you honk, it'll save a clip, it'll go into that part right here. So you, it kind of separates them so you can view the footage later on. Um, yeah, and that is basically it for uh, adding a different USB drive for your dash cam and sentry mode. If you have questions about that, let me know in the comments and uh, happy to answer it. Okay, talk to you later.